Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, first of all, I would like to thank the coordinators of this session for the opportunity to be here today. Uh, my name is Nekbet Korpas, and as I said, um, with Alicia Castillo, we have carried out this uh, small project. Um, we are part of a larger research team of the Complutense University of Madrid, and uh, the name of the team in Spanish is Gestión del Patrimonio Cultural, so translated into English, Cultural Heritage Management. Uh, the team obviously researches into this topic, and it has carried out several uh, projects on the social perception of World Heritage Sites in Europe and Latin America. So um, the project we present today is part of that previous line of uh, studies. Um, so for this paper, we wanted to know how archaeology is presented in non-archaeological context. We know that there has been an increase of archaeological works in uh, a Spanish World Heritage context, but we are not sure how much of it has uh, reached out to the public itself. So. Um, we selected several non-archaeological World Heritage sites from Spain, and uh, we assessed the comments and the photographs uploaded uh, for these sites by the users of TripAdvisor, which is uh, the world's largest um, website on um, tourism and these sort of topics. Um, TripAdvisor is a 2.0 website, which means that people can actually upload their comments, they can share uh, comments, context, etc. Uh, so in the end, they can actually shape how uh, a destination is presented to the public. Uh, in this, OK, and um, what we have seen from the review of these uh, of the comments from TripAdvisor users to this size uh, is uh, I'm going to give you some points of it. Um, so for example, in this case, in the town of Ubeda in the south of Spain, is a Renaissance town. Uh, that's the reason why the city was designated as a World Heritage context. But the top, the top attraction for TripAdvisor users is not a Renaissance building, but it's a, a, this archaeological site, which is a medieval synagogue. It is privately owned, and it's it could be interesting to use this sort of uh, under-promoted uh, archaeological sites to match the flow of tourists to less well-known um, archaeological sources, or at least to use these very well-known sites as windows to explain the history of the World Heritage context. Um, also, from this experience, we have seen that TripAdvisor users are more interested in the authenticity of the experience of visiting these sort of places than the objective authenticity of the site. So this could be a, an interesting topic for later, maybe. Um, what we have seen as well is that museums uh, are probably the best resources to communicate archaeological values in this non-archaeological context, because they tend to be really widespread and well uh, rated by TripAdvisor users. The thing is that many users focused on the building itself, the architecture itself, than the archaeological collections in their comments. So there's some work to do in this topic. We think that this could be an opportunity, though, to communicate the uh, archaeological values of, of the World Heritage City. Because if we attract the public to these buildings, maybe we can communicate the architectural criteria to designate the town as a World Heritage Town, uh, as a World Heritage Site, sorry, and then use the archaeological collections to give it a human dimension to those World Heritage criteria. Actually, this is our last. Uh, point because what we have seen so far from the review of the comments and the photographs is that uh, most TripAdvisor users tend to focus on this World Heritage size, on the aesthetic and the monumental values of these sites, even for really historical monuments such as the um, thanks such as the Roman Bridge of Cordoba. Uh, people see archaeology as a secondary thing. So maybe we can use archaeology as a way to humanize these uh, spaces and make them less as, I don't know, like art monuments, let's put it in that way. Um, so I think I'm on time. Uh, I would like to say thank you very much to all of you. And uh, we are going to hold a conference next year on comprehensive approaches to cultural heritage management. I am leading a blog on new researches on world heritage uh, sites and topics. So if you want to know a little bit more about it, just ask me after the session. Um, thank you very much for your attention. Thank you.